Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. I want to help you. Commander, I'm a bit busy right now with... Uh, excuse me, please. Okay, I'll help you with the threats. Give me the details. I'll deal with this guy who's threatening you. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Okay. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. He's some kind of druggo. But won't they expose my past? And Big Rotten Charlie. I'm not. They won't bother you again. I guarantee it. I see. Maybe it's better if I don't know anymore. I was. I'm gonna strap some C4 bombs to them and say if they if they move an inch, they'll explode. Commander, thank you. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. Your hair is made out of plasticine. I remember playing with plasticine. Elementary school was the best of the schools. Hey, what are you doing? Leave that lady alone! She doesn't want your advances! Ah, uh, discharge. Discharging firearms. Oh, not this again. How do I put away my guns? Oh, there. Why do I keep throwing bombs everywhere? Wait, where was this guy again? Oh, yeah, he was in the... Oh, there goes off the, off the bomb. And these two don't even, like, freak out. It's not how things work. If someone sets up a bomb in a public square, it usually won't end well. It's gonna actually be pretty scary. Lots of screaming. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Yeah, what's Welcome it to, to you, Tubby? During my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Can I pinch your cheeks and poke your belly? Yeah, I don't care. Go away. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. It's a useless character. Lots of them in this game. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care anyway. Where am I going again? I know you guys are probably mad. Why are you doing this whole episode in the shit? Why aren't you shooting stuff? Oh well. I have a perfectly good reason for that. There's lots of cool stuff on the Citadel I missed. And I need to get it out of the way before I go and do all the really challenging stuff, like going to Novaria and Pharos, which isn't the most challenging, to be honest, but they're probably my least favorite parts of this game. That's one thing that I found about Mass Effect 1, is there's only a couple of really engaging Born spots. Street, is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Uh, I found this pack of cigarettes. He apparently was a smoker. These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Gimme more. I'm self-centered. I'm a jerk of a shepherd. I had to kill people for these discs. They're worth more than you're offering. Wow, Shepard's a jerk. I didn't tell you to kill Fist. But you're right. I suppose that I did ask you to help me, so... Here, this should be more than adequate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Why do you keep scratching your hair? Either you're very, uh, nervous, or you have lice. Not ordinary lice. Space lice. You want to be careful of the space lice. You think normal lice are bad? Space lice poop little pellets that explode into miniature black holes and eat away at your scalp. It's really bad. You don't want to get space lice. Hey, Conrad Werner. You were too busy to talk last time, but that's not a problem. I know you're busy being the first human specter and all. Uh, it really hurts me to be a jerk to an obsessive fan. I deal with them in real life. I don't want to deal with them in my games. I don't have time for this crap. Go back to whatever hole you crawled out of. So that's how it is? The rest of us should just let you reap the fame and glory? Wait till my Usenet You're group hears about this. Stand up for humanity. I'll show you. I'm gonna write an angry message on a message board. I met 
Professor Shepard, I mean Commander Shepard, I don't remember because I'm not a real fan, and he treated me like crap. I'm complaining now. Hey, okay, where do I go again? Is this where the quest objective is? Hello there, welcome to Morland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? I love you, Morlan. Except, uh, in the second game, you email me very suggestive messages in my little command thingy. I don't like it. You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Things have changed, Marlon. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Marlon. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Um... I am the ghost of Buddy Holly. Leave the doctor alone, or you'll have to deal with me. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Violence is the fun way to solve things. Her secret stays buried, or I bury you. Hey, hold on. I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Yeah, you run away. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. Who's Baines? What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. You I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. You suck. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Now go repair your wall. Why are you just standing around here? Don't you have something better to do? Man, being a shopkeeper sucks in this time period. I mean, come on, it's awful. Who wants to stand around all day, do nothing, have nothing to do besides customer service? I don't know. These people at, you know, GameStop and EB we have here in Canada still. You know, I'm saying you know a lot. I don't know, is it because I just drank some full throttle? Why am I so crazy today? They told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. Oh, you're that stalker guy who would always hang outside the daycare and watch me play with blocks? Yeah, you were a real sicko. An impatient soldier. Who are you and why are you in my way? Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we ran together in the 10th Street Reds. Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. What vids are you talking about? Do they still have YouTube in the future? They have future tube. The vids never tell the whole story. So, what can I do yeah, for Yeah, it's reds? like behind the music. One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. Uh, okay, um... I've actually never done this part of the game. I've completely missed it somehow in one of my walkthroughs. I think it's dependent on which history you make for Shepard. So this is gonna be fresh for me. What was this guy arrested for? Some stupid minor offense. Maybe he had a little red sand. From the Dune planet. Are. They declared him a problem, and they're shipping him back for a trial. I'll talk to the Turian and see what I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I knew you'd remember your old friends. I don't trust your voice. Voice, your voice. Your voice is intimidating. You'll never see me again. See, why do you talk like that? When you talk slimy, you you know he's up to no good. Come on, this is pretty basic stuff. It's like when you have a villain go, ha 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 ha. Yeah, of course. He's planning something evil. You don't have to be a nuclear physimagist to know that. I scan this keeper. Gotta find Flux. I wanna go to Flux first. Cause Flux is, uh, the monkey ducks. What the heck does that mean? Man. I've been hanging close to, uh, Chloe Mikkel's Stoner patients. It's rubbing off on me. Don't like that, man. It's not good for my mind. Okay, where is Flux? I know it's on the same level. It's on the same section of the thing. 
It's in uh, the wards, not the s wherever the stores are in. Are the stores in the wards or is that in the presidium? Or I oh, don't know. I'm terrible at navigation. I want to find Flux. I haven't figured it out. Where it is yet. No, this is Chloe's magic magic fun world. I don't want to go with Chloe's magic fun world. No, that's not the way. I could have sworn it was here somewhere. Oh, was this? Two flux. Yes. A flux capacitor. That's how you make a DeLorean go really fast and it can go through time. Time to check out flux. This is this is where the real party's at. Well, Cora's Den is like a strip club. This is like freaking Chuck E. Cheese from the future. I love it. Hey, Rita. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? Your hair looks like ketchup. What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. Yes, please. Bore me with your problems. Go on. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. Jameson? The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Yeah. Cora's Den's a really seedy place. You gotta stay away from there. You can't stop her from making stupid mistakes. This stupid mistake might cost her her life. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. She must have real self-esteem issues. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? Mm, no. It's all very secret. It's Last a secret to I everybody. Asked, he told me to stay out of it, for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Why are your eyebrows well, bright red? I get in trouble. You look like some kind of weird savage tribes lady who smears blood on her forehead whenever she slays a village full of miners. Hey, human Alright, time to... Oh, man. Can I dance yet? Can I dance? Oh, no, I can't dance. Yeah, don't think I can dance quite yet. Gotta be. I'm waiting for someone else. And guess what, boy viewers? We're not gonna find out who he's waiting for. I don't think so. Or is this the guy who uh who he helped later? I don't know. Where's uh Doran, the guy who runs this place? Let's see what he has to say. Here we go, Doran. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Do you sell pina coladas? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. And just to let you know, quasar is quite possibly the most boring casino game in existence. I don't know how this place gets any business. Quasar sucks. What can you tell me about the sisters working for you? Well, Jenna left to work at Cora's Den. Now her sister Rita is all worried she might be in some kind of trouble. Not much chance Jenna will change her mind, though. She's a stubborn one. All we need to do is, like, lay a trail of Reese's Pieces all the way from Cora's Den to here, and she'll come back. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. <laughs> We've got some Quasar Stop pushing Quasar on me. The game is terrible. Enjoy your time. You know, ever heard of a little thing called Pachinko? It's kind of a Asian casino game. Came out a long time ago, and it's a thousand times better than what they got here. I mean, seriously, I'll show you this game, and man, is it, is it weak. It's work. It makes you think. It makes you have to do math. 
like, look at all these people. They're lined up to play Quasar, and... I don't know what these people... You're living in this future modern age. Imagine how cool video games are. And you're playing freaking math games. What What's wrong with you? You you people must be bored to tears and think of all that's possible for entertainment in this age. I mean... This is Quasar. You know, even the lights are boring. Just plain, bland yellow. Yellow lights. That's all they went with. So, from my understanding, you have to get between a specific number and... Okay, add... Is it 20 or something? Or... You add random numbers and... Forget how much I have to go with. Yeah, payout, 18. Yay, I won 20 credits! Wasn't that exciting? I mean, a slot machine. A freaking slot machine is more exciting simply because there's lots of lights, colors, different images. It's a lot more visceral. It. This is a huge step back for casino technology in general, and this is past the year 2200. I hate Quasar, man. Quasar sucks. I want to quit. Quit this horrible game. No! It's imprisoned me, forcing me to play another game. There's no freedom from this. I hate Quasar. Qu quit. I don't want to play a game. Who wants to freaking play Quasar? I hate it! <sighs> Sorry for my little rant, but I really can't stand that game, and it just... Bioware, you can do better. I know it's a silly thing to rant about, and it's just a mini game, but when I'm being entertained more by playing Atari games in this futuristic space age, there's a real problem, man. At least make it as good as modern technology. Modern by our standards. Yeah, I'd rather not... Oh yeah, why am I going this way? I must have gotten too distracted by my hatred of Quasar. Pac-Man was better. Freaking Pac-Man. Which way is Koro's den? I don't know anything, really. My mother dropped me on my head when I was like three months old, and again when I was 17. So I'm kind of all in and out. Where's one of those mass transit things? It's nice to see in the future everyone's still wearing clothes. I had this kind of weird suspicion that since people are wearing less and less clothes, and bikinis are becoming increasingly smaller. Clothing that people are wearing is becoming increasingly tighter. That in 200 years, people will become s completely detached from conservative traditionalism. That everyone would just walk around naked all the time. I know that sounds silly, but that's how I used to think the world was going. Until I played this game, and then I realized, yeah, people are still going to wear clothes. That's silly. Yeah. Huh. Tally, what do you think? Dancers are highly respected among my people, but I get the feeling these women are not held in high esteem. Yeah. People just throw money to them, or credits. I assume they just throw their credit card or whatever they have used to store credits. Yeah, it's it kind of loses that effect when you're trying to pay these dancers with credit. Anyways. Can I help you? Kurt Weissman is loose. No, Cut Kurtzman Weissman. Got a prisoner loose named Kurt Weissman. I'd like that prisoner freed. I'd like a lot of things human. Desire forms the foundations of organized society. That said, the xenophobe will remain in Turian custody. This is not negotiable. Yes, it is, because I am Shepard and I am awesome. I'd rather not have to kill all your guards to free this man. Homicide. Why I love it. Do you 
want this criminal released? Is it part of your mission, or are you just helping another human? Obey me! I'm a specter. I don't answer to you. Release Wiseman, now. The Council should have known the humans were not ready for the authority of the specters. And now, with my specter the powers, you must go into the john and lick the floor. Law. Do it! I command ye! Yeah, specters say ye. I'm not sure if you knew that. At least they do now. Hey! Jenna! Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. Make time! I need to talk to you about your work with c -Sec. Maybe <laughs> you sell a decent pina colada. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. Don't be stupid. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. But you could. I'm just saying, you do have to look for it. Not that I'd approve of such seedy, uh, unwholesome behavior. Hey, Chellick. Your name sounds like the noise people make when they... Fork up something gross. Meet me at Seasick Academy. Jenna? What did you just say? Push it off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. We do run the place, because we're humanity. No, and we have shotguns. I guess we'd better go find out. Where did you want me to go? I missed that! I should have paid attention to the dialogue! Uh, anyways, until then, I'm gonna go to the Presidium and go fight some jellyfish. Um, Presidium. Let's go to the Financial Control... Blah, 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 blah. Financial District. Because I want to learn about finance. Cue the schoolhouse rock music video. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? I, I, I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Is this man harassing you, man? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. Yeah, don't you want one of those super babies? Like in that crappy movie, Baby Geniuses 2? I thought gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. Isn't that a ban, routine a gene very therapy? A small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. The internet's stupid. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. Yeah, you ever been on the internet? There's people who will convince you that if you drink a glass of milk, you'll get cancer. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. Yeah, you could get one of those bab baboon hearts. They're pretty classy. Larry yeah, Hagman's gotten quite a few of those. Baby. One in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? It's like laser eye surgery. If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... if, if I killed my baby for nothing. Whew, let me think, let me think, this is pretty dramatic stuff. Well, if you really want that baby, hmm, and you don't want it to die, hmm, maybe you should jump off a cliff. That will solve everything. For what it's worth, I think you should consider undergoing the therapy. I don't care what you think. Who are you anyway? It's my child. It's my decision. Hmm. This is a tough, tough, uh, this is the type of conversation that would, uh, get lots of people on the internet and on YouTube comments comparing each other to Nazis. Hmm. 
I don't know. Think of the child. Think of that little baby grown inside you. Do you want to, like, have all sorts of problems? I don't know. I don't know anything about this. I don't know anything too well. You've already lost your husband. Are you going to let your grief endanger the baby, too? I had to watch Jacob die. I can't risk causing the death of my child as well. Then do the safe thing. Get tons of high-powered x-rays on your tummy. Your husband's death wasn't your fault. But if you refuse the therapy, your child's death could be. Don't you understand? I can't lose this baby. This... This is all I have left of him. And you and that baby are all I have left of Jacob. I can't lose you. Either of you. That's kind of creepy. You're acting like this. Jacob is living on in the form and of this baby. Say that That's of actually kind of creepy. I was scared. I'm sorry. Get over him. I'm sorry. He's gone. It's sad as it is. It's a new baby. I mean... If you trust... That baby is an individual. Yes, he has half the genetic makeup of his father, but I'll still. Thank you so much. Uh, I guess we needed an outside person to talk some sense into both of us. That was smart of you. Trust a complete stranger to make decisions for your life. That's what most people should do. Now where is that big stupid jellyfish I want to talk some sense into? Oh, there he is. This will be fun. People like this quest. Because it has one of the most famous lines in this game. Famous lines in this game. Discharging weapons is so fun. I don't care that you can't explore the Presidium in Mass Effect 2. If I want to do that, I just play the first game. Hello, Preaching Hanar. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is it summed up in a convenient pamphlet? Because if not, I don't want to hear about them. Are you allowed to preach here in the Presidium? The words this unworthy one speaks are merely observations of the truth. The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Hmm. You know, you totally have the right to believe in what you want to believe, and freedom of religion is a fundamental democratic right. But get out of here! This is the Presidium, not a church. Evangelize somewhere else. This one's beliefs will not be suppressed. If others wish to try, they are welcome to do... That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Leave the Hanar alone! You're suppressing that Hanar's religious freedom. I want you to stop. I like how he criticizes the Hanar, then criticizes I this guy. I've known that a human wouldn't respect the laws of the Citadel. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. Because the jellies are delicious, and if we gain their trust, we can someday eat them. If we harass this Hanar, we're going to have a diplomatic incident. I'm not concerned with diplomatic incidents. I'm concerned with the law being broken. You know what? Laws are laws, and laws can be stupid, and sometimes laws trample on people's freedoms. That's why I like to break laws. Like, whenever I see a sign that says, Do not stand on the grass, you better believe I stand on that grass. If you want to get promoted, learn to pick your battles. Let it go. I suppose I can tell my superior that I attempted a diplomatic solution. Some other CSEC officer can arrest the Hanar. It's no longer my problem. Thank you for your assistance. Goodbye. Hello, preachy Hanar. The officer has left, and this one is free to share the glory of the Enkindlers. This one offers its appreciation. I think the most of this. This is your opportunity to show people that the Hanar aren't crazy xenophobes. Don't waste it. This one observes the wisdom of your words. We can all unite under that. This one has little money, but it can offer this. Now finally, this one can continue sharing the truth unimpeded. That's something everyone, regardless of belief, should unite under. Love, compassion, wisdom, all the stuff are pretty much generally good and indisputable.
Ah, uh, okay. So well, where do I have to go now? Anyways, I think I'm done recording. Recording for the night. Recording for the night. Da da na na na. Da na 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 na. Da da na na. Da 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 na 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 na. Da na na na. Da na na.